Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be testing out a beauty blender and this cost me like £3 I think in like a local kind of random savers -y style store. I don't even know, it was like some random like bargain store but I'm pretty sure you can get this online. This is the double, 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 this is the W7 Power Puff and it is called a face blender sponge. It obviously it looks very similar to the kind of beauty blender sponges. Uh, so I thought I would test it out for you guys. It says instructions, place, oh my gosh, it's really, it feels really hard. It says place your face blender sponge into water and squeeze until it's soaked through. Take the sponge out, take the sponge, <laughs> take the sponge out and give it a squeeze to remove any excess water. And then obviously you just do your foundation with it. First impressions, it does feel very hard. Like compared to other beauty blenders I've had, it feels pretty solid so I'm not sure like how well this is gonna expand but if I just do a little kind of like comparison to my face um it's this big now and I'm gonna go and run it underwater and come back and see how much it expanded so remember how big it looks here and then I'll be right back okay so it did actually expand quite a lot I wasn't expecting to expand that much not gonna lie so this is it compared to my face now I mean I don't know if you guys remember how big it was a minute ago but what I thought would be a pretty good comparison is before it fitted in this box but now it does not fit in this box <laughs> so now I'm just gonna apply my foundation with it I should probably have brought a mirror with me <laughs> This is what happens when you're stressed, you guys. Okay, so the foundation that I'm gonna be using is my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff, as you guys know. And this is in the shade Porcelain. So, I've just taken some of my foundation on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna dot it onto my face. So I'm just gonna use the dotted end, dotted end? The rounded end of the sponge, to just kind of pat this into my face. I don't know if you guys can hear the noise it's making, but it's pretty solid still like even though it expanded it is still like pretty solid I mean it's pretty solid but it's not like I'm hitting my face with a rock or anything like it's pretty decently soft still Okay, so to be honest, I feel like it did apply my foundation really nicely. Like, it looks really flawless. Um, it doesn't have any, like, streaks in it, obviously, because I find, like, with sponges and stuff, you don't get streaks, whereas with brushes, you sometimes do. Um, so I do feel like it has applied it very kind of, like, evenly. It doesn't look, like, patchy or anything. I mean, it is kind of less coverage than if I was to use my normal, like, buffing brush, I think. I think it's slightly less coverage using one of these because it does absorb a little bit of the product, but not, like, crazy amounts. I mean, it's still, like looks really nice on my face like the foundation so yeah I'm pretty impressed with this so far so what I'm gonna do now is apply some concealer and I'm actually trying a new one this is the Miss Sporty I can't speak today you guys like honestly what is wrong with me Miss Sporty perfect stay 10 hour concealer and this is in the shade 001 light the only issue I have with this is it looks like it's gonna be too dark for my skin tone this is the paler shade they did but let's give it a go whoa that's definitely too dark for me I mean like under your eyes you generally want something that's lighter than your skin tone but I'm pretty sure this is darker than mine but I'm just gonna use the pointed end of the sponge to kind of blend this in It sucks that this concealer is too dark because I really like the formula of it. It looks like it's got pretty decent coverage, but at the same time, it's not like really, really thick like the collection one is. So, Miss Sporty, if you're watching this video, not that you ever would be, but if you are, please make the concealer in a lighter colour. I mean, I guess I could use it in the summer, but I don't really tan, so. Okay, so I'm actually going to put a bit of this on my blemishes as well, and then I'm going to just use the kind of pointed down again to blend this all in. So blending all of that in, I feel like this definitely did a really good job. I mean, like, I really like how it kind of blended under my eyes and just generally over my whole face. I think this is a really good kind of, like, cheap makeup sponge. I think it does a good job and is really good value for money. So I'm actually going to use a bit of this LA Girl Pro Conceal and um, I'm just going to use this under my eyes just to brighten it up a bit. And to be honest, you guys, so many people rave about this concealer. But unless I have another concealer on underneath, I don't feel like it's the best. 
I feel like it's a bit kind of like oily and it doesn't have the best coverage ever. But like when people use it on Instagram and stuff, I feel like they always have like five layers of other stuff underneath it. So they just kind of use it for brightening, I guess. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so it did actually brighten up my eyes a lot, but obviously I have the other concealer underneath it. So I don't know if it's just me that doesn't like it by itself, but wasn't really feeling it. So I'm now just going to quickly set all of my face with my NYC Smooth Skin Face Powder. So now that I have like set everything with powder, I do feel like overall I can give a good review of this sponge. I do think it did a really good job for kind of like blending in my foundation. There was no streaks. It did apply it pretty well, although the one kind of like negative thing I would have to say about it is that it does absorb some of the product so you don't get like as full coverage as you would use with like a buffing sponge but to be buffing sponge <laughs> a buffing brush but to be honest with all the kind of like beauty blenders style sponges that I've tried they never tend to give like as high coverage as like with a buffing brush just in my experience anyway so I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be back okay so I've now applied all of my rest of my makeup and by the way I do apologize if I'm wearing the same top in this video as I am in kind of like a different video because I have also filmed a different video like wearing the same outfit so sorry guys so overall I would definitely recommend this sponge if you are on a budget you're looking for something that's kind of like a dupe of the beauty blender and you just want to try something new I would definitely give it a go I will try and find links to it down below I think when I got it it was like three or four pounds but online it might be slightly cheaper it might be slightly more expensive I'm not too sure so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you guys aren't really subscribed to my channel just hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye! So what I did for this is I literally just twisted my hair around my finger and then just wrapped it round into a little kind of donut.